Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, wanted to talk about something real quick. My son had a uh, check-in this week for his school, and my ex-wife, of course, wants to control every little bit of everything that goes on, so she's telling me that I need to um, drop off my son the day of, which was a Tuesday. This We started talking on a Friday about it, the Friday before. And my whole thing was, why do I need to take my son to you on my week? It's my fucking week. Why do I need to take him to you? I can drive him to the school. I can do the check-in stuff. And if you want to be there, you're more than welcome to meet us. So I sent her that message that said that just that. I'm not dropping him off during my week for shit. I can take him myself. If you want to meet us there, I'll have him text you when we're on the way. She sends back a message saying... Oh no, um, I don't want to go because you bring people with you that have nothing to do with our son. So guys, that's the real crux of the issue. She's upset that I have a new girlfriend around my son. Well, Maria, you're the one that threw me out during a pandemic in the wintertime. Remember? And then went and changed the locks. Remember? Remember? because your 27 year old son wouldn't move out? Remember? Remember all that? Remember all that? You threw me out in the wintertime pandemic, right? Remember that? And then eight months later, you filed for a divorce? You filed for divorce eight months later. Remember that part? Oh, right. And then, and then when I cut your Netflix streaming off and you found out about my new girlfriend, you robbed my store at gunpoint with three people to goddamn fact can't be changed so then you got to go out and you have to refi your house with a HELOC loan which adjusts and we all know what's happening with the interest rates so now you've got a second home loan right plus you got to pay all the bills I don't pay anymore when I was with Maria I paid most of the mortgage the mortgage was 1488 I paid a thousand right I paid all the water I paid all the electric I paid all the incidentals and I paid all the streaming because I was growing weed in the basement and I figured that was fair if I'm using up water and electric for weed I should pay for it well when her son moved in I gotta have the basement he said so he moves into the basement but yet she still wants me to pay those bills while her son contributes nothing something that she admitted in court publicly because divorce courts are public she publicly admitted her 27-year-old son pays no bills in an effort to get more money out of me. So this is what she's mad about, guys. She's mad that, and a lot of women are like this, and a lot of men are like this. They're mad because of the decision they made. You see, she made a decision to favor her 27-year-old son over her husband and her 10-year-old son. You see, she thought that she could just throw me out and the courts would give her everything. Well, it's not 2008 anymore, baby. It's 2022, and these courts have 50 years of stats on single mothers, and it isn't pretty. So they're starting to let fathers in. There's no reason why we shouldn't anyway. It should be automatic 50-50 from jump. So I take them to the school, and she doesn't show. What does that make her? That makes her a deadbeat mother. You go into court and you lie to keep parenting time from your ex. If you go into court and you lie to get more money, or if you don't show up to events, you're a fucking deadbeat. I don't care what your race or what your your uh, uh, gender is or whatever they call it these days. Whether you're the husband or the wife, it doesn't matter. You're a fucking deadbeat if you don't show up to events. So she didn't show up because I might have my girlfriend there. Isn't that so childish? So just think about it, guys. What if a man said, oh, I can't go to my son's school because my ex-wife has her boyfriend there? They would call him a deadbeat piece of shit. So let's go over it again, Maria. You now get to pay your whole mortgage, right? Plus the second mortgage that adjusts, which might be as much as the first mortgage. So you're probably paying, if I had to guess, you're paying $2,000 to $2,200 a month in a mortgage. You've got to pay all the water. You've got to pay all the lights, right? You've got to pay all the streaming. You've got to pay for all incidentals. You've got to pay for any traveling your son wants to do, any food he wants, 
groceries are expensive now. All the stuff I used to pay for. All those trips to Hawaii that are documented that I paid for. You'll never do it again. You have to pay for yourself. And you will spend the rest of your life paying Harvey Steinberg for robbing me. Just because you got off don't mean you got off. You still got to pay this attorney. So enjoy your two mortgages. And I'll see you at the orientation. I hope you make it so I can laugh at you. This is what that happens, guys. YouTube, men, stay on your purpose. Do not come off your purpose. I stayed on my purpose this whole time and things went my way. Stay on your purpose. Take care of your children and they will flounder.